In this video, I'll walk through an example of creating a slope field from a given differential equation. We're given dy dx equals x over y. We're asked to sketch the slope field of the function. We'll also draw a curve of the function if it passes through the point 2, 1. So first, a little distinction between the differential equation, which is this, dy dx equals x over y, and the function. The function is, so if the function is f of x, then, or, or y, then dy dx is, is the first derivative. f prime of x equals dy dx. Okay, so just to review uh, what we're talking about. So the function is, is this. Is the y, the original thing that we wanted, y equals something, or, or y squared plus x squared and, or equals 5 or something like that. But, but it's not this first derivative. So here is the differential equation, and we know that this part, the dy dx, is the slope, which is then the same as, as, as the right-hand side, because those are equal to each other. dy dx equals x over y. So, we are given the slope. The, the first derivative of a function is its slope at any given point. So, if we plugged in 2, 1, a point 2, 1, let me switch to a blue so this will show up better, 2, 1, then that's 2 in for x and 1 in for y, so that's a slope of 2. So, at the point 2, 1, and just a little background on, on this coordinate plane that the white tick marks are just one unit so two to the right and and one up is the point two one right about here and we're saying if that function goes through this point then right here right here we have a slope of two so I'm doing my best to draw a slope of two as opposed to this diagonal is a slope of one and so this is how this this is a computer-generated slope field. Uh, the computer has taken multiple different combinations of, of x and y and just divided x over y, and, and it got all of these slopes, and it just drew little hash marks everywhere, denoting a slope at that point. And then, if we know something more about the function, so right now we just know slopes of any, any possible function, but if we know more about the function, that is, for example, if we know that the function goes th through the point 2, 1, then we can sketch a curve. We can just start following this, this um, slope field. Okay, so how do you draw a slope field? Like I said, I, I did a uh, computer-generated slope field, and I thought that was beneficial for you to, to see it, a really good one, because it's tougher to draw it by hand, but then also... I'm going to trace on top of a couple of these just the slopes and to see where we got these, these slopes. So uh, probably the easiest way to construct or sketch a slope field is just to make a little table here. We've got our x values like 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and our y values like 0 and 1 and 2 and 3. And I'll draw a little table. And I'll throw some numbers in there. And the numbers that I put inside the table will be the slopes. So we're just going off of this dy dx, or x over y. So the first thing I want to talk about is the easy one. When x is the numerator. When x is the numerator, we have 0 over some value y. So like 0 over 1, that gives a slope of 0. 0 over 2, 0, 0 over 3, 0. And I'm getting that 0 over 3 because, I'm, again, this is dy dx is x over y. So we're given the x value dividing by the y value. Okay. So we have, I'll come back to this 0 over 0. We have, at this point, uh, a slope of 0 every time x is 0. So that's all along this y axis. And you see that uh, as the slope field it shows here. It comes down, comes down, and then right when it crosses the y-axis, right when x is 0, the slope is 0 all along this y-axis. 
Okay, so that's true. Now, let's talk about when y is 0. When y is 0, we have some x value over 0. And that is undefined. That's, a, that's an undefined slope. Well, we know that when the slope is undefined, we have a vertical line. So I'm just going to draw an x here because that's, it's undefined, numerically undefined. You can't have 0 in the denominator. But when we're talking about slope, an undefined slope means that you have a vertical line. So I'll show that. So all along this x-axis, or that is whenever y is 0, we have a vertical line slope. Okay, a vertical line, I should say. The slope is vertical. Okay, then we can go through the diagonals. Again, this is x over y. Any number divided by itself is just 1, so every time x and y equal each other, we have a slope of 1. 1 over 1 is 1, 2 over 2 is 1, 3 over 3 is 1. So all along this line, we see whenever x equals y, the slope is 1. So, And that's just for this specific differential equation. It's not for all differential equations, of course. But this one is, is x over y, so whenever x and y are equal to each other, we're going to have this, uh, a slope of 1. Now, if x and y are opposites of each other, 1 is positive and 1 is negative, then, of course, we have a negative slope. And that's what we see here on this other diagonal line. So you can start to see it's starting to look like a hyperbola, and it's just going to be one, uh, I can kind of think of it as one half of a hyperbola, if you will, thinking it just goes through one of these points, and I'll, I'll sketch that at the end here. But um, and now the rest of these aren't as, as interesting, uh, but you can certainly just plug things in. We already plugged in the idea where we have 2 for x and 1 for y. We have a slope of 2. We did that right here. Now what if we have... 1 for x and 2 for y. Well, that's a slope of 1 half. So when x is 1 and y is 2, it's about up here, we see the computer-generated graph, a slope field, that it's a much gr more gradual slope. And we can draw that in, a slope of about 1 half. And you can see why I did a computer-generated slope field, because it is difficult to, to draw. You, you know, the, uh, you can do, one thing you can do well is you can know a slope of 1, and you can do one that's steeper and one's gradual. But to get exactly one half, well, that's, that's tough to do by hand. Computer-generated uh, slope field does very well with that. So you can see what we're, what we're doing here. We're, we're drawing these slopes one by one. The computer did it very quickly. Now... That's where all the slope field, that's where the slope field comes from. It's just taking many different combinations of x and y, plugging it in here and, and saying, okay, well, if x, and, if x was this and, and y is, is this, it's going to end up with this slope, this certain slope. Now, th that would give you, uh, I should say, a, a general look at the, the function. So it's the slope field of the function. But if the function, if we know something more about the function, if we know that the function passes through, through a specific point, then we can go ahead and uh, sketch a curve of the function. We know that this specific function, or we can think of it as a particular solution, this function that we're talking about now will go through the point 2, 1. So we can kind of sketch that, and the slope gets steeper and steeper as we get closer and then closer to the to the x-axis and it comes back out Ooh, like that and then it comes out like that and that's a that's a pretty good look at it it's not going to be perfect because it's tough to follow the the slopes exactly, but but that's pretty good. We see kind of, if you will, one half of a hyperbola, if, the, if you can say such a thing. But we see it there. Uh, so again, just to review, this is the differential equation. We use that to sketch slopes at any given point, and then we don't have the real function, 
or even a graph of the function unless we know something more about that original function. And, and we did in this one, and then we could sketch a little graph.